Welcome to my channel Physics with Akash Goel. In this video, I am going to take a problem on center of mass and collision and explosion etc. The problem statement is an object of mass 5 kg is projected with a velocity of 20 meter per second at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal. So it is the case of projectile motion. At the highest point of its path, the projectile explodes and breaks up into two fragments of masses 1 kg and 4 kg. The fragments separate horizontally. So fragments are not moving vertically, separate, uh, the fragments are moving only horizontal after the explosion. The explosion releases internal energy such that the kinetic energy of the system at the highest point is doubled. Doubled of what? Doubled of uh, initial value. Initial value is just before this explosion. Calculate the separation between the two fragments. We have to find this separation. Calculate the separation between the two fragments when they reach the ground. So, suppose this is the horizontal surface from which the particles are thrown and let's say particle is thrown like this and it is expected to do a projectile motion but at the topmost point the fragment break and there is explosion and there are two fragments. The mass is uh, as given the problem is 5 kg so this is 5 kg mass this angle is 60 degree and this initial velocity is 20 and the horizontal component which remains constant during the motion is 20 cos 60 which is 10 meter per second and the vertical component in this motion will be 10 root 3. So just before explosion at the highest point its velocity is completely horizontal and this velocity will be 10 meter per second. So this 5 kg mass is moving with velocity 10 meter per second. So let us plot this situation separately here. So this is 5 kg which is moving with velocity 10 meter per second. Now we have two fragments which are moving horizontally just after this explosion. One fragment is of mass 1 kg and other fragment is of mass 4 kg. So this is 1 kg fragment and this is 4 kg fragment. Now they separate. Uh, separation can occur uh, like this. This can move in this direction and this can move in this direction or this can move in this direction and this can also move in this direction and uh, these two velocities should have difference. The 4 kg can have greater velocity than 1 kg or it can also occur that 1 kg can have the greater can have greater velocity than the 4 kg. So any of the cases can occur in this particular situation. but. If you look at this we have to find the separation and these fragments are moving horizontally so there is no initial vertical velocity for 1 kg mass and 4 kg mass after the explosion so time taken by this 5 kg from here to here and time taken by 1 kg and 4 kg just after the explosion will be same 5 kg whatever 5 kg has taken time from here to here will be equal to the time taken by 1 kg and 4 kg to reach the ground because uh, they are falling from the same height and there is no initial vertical velocity. So uh, what is the time taken by this mass to go from here to here this is half of the time of light and this is calculated using this vertical velocity. So this vertical velocity initial ve vertical velocity divided by g this is the time taken up to this uh, maximum height. So this is 10 root 3 divided by 10 this time is root 3. So root 3 second is taken by 5 kg to reach the maximum height. If there is no explosion then 5 kg will also take root 3 second to reach the ground and in this particular situation there is no vertical velocity. So this 1 kg and 4 kg mass will fo fall through the same height same vertical height and there is no initial velocity. So this will take root 3 second and this will also take root 3 second and these two masses will be at the same horizontal level at any instant. Suppose it moves like this and it moves like this. So it will go like this and it will go like this both will hit the ground at the same time at any moment both are at the same horizontal level. If it is here then it is here if it is here then it is here both will be at the same horizontal level. So to find the separation between them we need not find the velocities we need, we not we need not find the velocities of 1 kg and 4 kg separately 
if we can find the v relative what is the v relative because v relative will be horizontal and this v relative will remain constant throughout the motion because there is no a relative there is no relative acceleration both have the same acceleration equal to g so there will be no relative acceleration in this particular situation and for this whole system there is no external force just before and just after i mean there is no impulsive external force only gravity is there so there is no change in momentum as such and there is no change in velocity of center of mass as such so there is no change in velocity of center of mass there is no change in velocity of center of mass velocity of center of mass remain constant just before and just after the explosion because there is no impulsive external force in this short span of time so vcm is constant and uh, we have given the information regarding the kinetic energy for kinetic energy the initial kinetic energy was half mass is 5 and this velocity is 10 so this is 10 square this is 500 by 2 this is 250 joule and final kinetic energy we will have 500 joule this is the final kinetic energy it is double uh, it is double due to release of internal energy and that internal energy is converted into kinetic energy of these two fragments for kinetic energy we can also write this kind of expression kinetic energy of cm plus kinetic energy with respect to cm kinetic energy of cm can be written as half total mass into vcm square and kinetic energy with respect to cm can be written as half mu v relative square where mu is the reduced mass mu value of mu will be equal to it is obviously we are calculating it for after the explosion so this is 1 into 4 divided by 1 plus 4 this is 4 by 5 kg this is the reduced mass of the system after the collision after the explosion so to write the kinetic energy of system we can also use this expression and from this expression we can easily calculate this v relative and this expression vcm is uh, constant throughout total mass is 5 kg so this expression is similar to this expression which is 250 so this is 250 and this whole kinetic energy finally this is equal to 500 so half mu v relative square half mu v half mu v relative square this is equal to this is 250 and it is 500 250 will come here and uh, it will become 250 again mu is 4 by 5 so this is 4 by 5 2 will go and this is half already v relative square it is a very simple calculation this is 2 this is 125 into 5 this will be 625 v relative square is 625 and v relative is equal to 25 so if v relative is 25 so separation suppose uh, they hit the ground at this particular point so v relative is 25 if v relative is 25 and time taken is equal to root 3 to fall through this height then separation at the ground will be 25 root 3 so it is a very simple calculation if we go by some other method in that method uh, we are interested to find the velocities of 1 kg and 4 kg we can also do that and we can also do that by this uh, relation uh, we have found the v relative so using v relative we can also do that so let us uh, do by that method first we have to write the conservation of linear momentum equation conservation of linear momentum obviously along the horizontal direction so final momentum uh, i am assuming the velocity is like this suppose this is v2 4 kg has velocity v2 and suppose 1 kg has velocity v1 if v1 is towards left then v1 will be negative so i am assuming like this v2 and v1 so one equation obviously will be of momentum conservation momentum conservation will give us uh, 1 into v1 4 into v2 this is equal to initial momentum which is equal to 50 so this is one equation now uh, the other equation will be of v relative and to write v relative one can write v2 minus v1 is equal to 25 if i'm assuming 4 kg is moving forward and one can also write v1 minus v2 is equal to 25 if i'm moving uh, if i'm saying 1 kg uh, having more velocity than 4 kg so these are the two possible cases and in the two possible cases we can have three two set of values of v1 and v2 
so this is 2 and this is 3 if you have to solve 1 and 2 so just add 1 and 2 so adding 1 and 2 v1 will be cancelled and 5 v2 5 v2 is equal to 75 and v2 is equal to 15 and if v2 is equal to 15 you can find v1 is uh, as minus 10 so for this set of values 1 kg will move like this by 10 kg and 10 meter per second and this will move 15 if you use 1 and 3 so for 1 and 3 just uh, subtract 1 minus 3 so this v1 and v1 will be cancelled and 4 v2 minus v2 this will be plus so 5 v2 after subtracting this is 25 and v2 is equal to 5 now if v2 is equal to 5 then uh, v1 uh, if v2 is equal to 5 so this 4 kg will move like this and then v1 should be equal to 30 so v1 is 30 and this v2 is 5 so 1 kg is moving ahead with velocity 30 meter per second and 2 kg is not 2 kg leaves behind and it is moving with velocity 5 meter per second so this can be the method and other method if we do not want to use this relative formulas then one equation obviously will be this and other equation we can make from the information of the kinetic energy the final kinetic energy as uh, i have written here it is 500 joule so final kinetic energy i can write half mass is 1 velocity for this i am taking as v1 so half mv1 square half mv2 square so this is equal to 500 so this is one equation and this i am taking as fourth equation from 1 and 4 this will be obviously a quadratic equation so finally from 1 and 4 we can find two values of v2 it is a simple calculation 5 and 15 and corresponding values for 5 we can find by equation 30 and this is minus 10 uh, same set of values we have obtained from this calculation also and this calculation is giving the same set of values so after finding v1 v2 we can find the horizontal displacement of the two and finally we can find the separation between the two so finding v1 v2 will make this question somewhat lengthier to question lengthy ho jayega agar kuch hum is tarike se jaate hain agar sirf hum is pe dekhte hain ki what what we have to find we have to find this separation only so v relative method will work and v relative can be found very easily and time can be found very easily and v relative multiplied by time will give the separation between the two